will Dachshunds be banned by the Germans? In addition to legitimate and supportable animal protection, crazy legislations are also appearing more and more often, which can have an extremely negative impact on the future of several breeds with a long history. Recently we talked about the Eastern Shepherd and LGD dog breed bans in the Scandinavian region, and now here's the new shocking news, according to the German Kennel Club, VDH, even the entire Dachshund breeding may be banned in the near future for animal welfare and protection reasons. And where? In their native country, Germany. In this part, we will talk about this madness shortly. Painful Skeletal Disorder when experts from the German Kennel Club read the draft of Germany's new animal protection law, they were shocked by what they read. The new law, according to the intentions of the creators, would prohibit the breeding of all dog breeds with any so-called skeletal abnormalities. This is intended by animal rights activists and lawmakers to reduce and phase out the breeding of dog breeds that are subjected to constant pain and anguish due to distortions in their skeletal systems. And what counts as distortion according to German lawmakers and the draft released in February. Potential spinal problems, shorter than average legs and longer backs. By definition, these breeds include Dachshunds, Bulldogs, Pugs, Mini Poodles and even Cocker Spaniels, including the iconic larger German breeds, like German Boxers and in some respects German Shepherds. Naturally, the German Kennel Club immediately issued a public call for changes to the decision that had not yet been made since if short legs are considered abnormal, Dachshunds could be banned first, which are one of the most popular breeds in Germany and the world. The VDH communication also rightly drew attention to the fact that if this draft law were codified in this form, it would cause great confusion in almost all areas of services related to dogs. After all, who will decides what is normal among dogs, the centuries-old short-legged Dachshunds, the artificially created German pointers, or the perpetually mobile German boxer, descendants of bullenbeisers and bulldogs, the vast majority of whom apparently do not struggle with any skeletal disorders that restrict their movements. The all-time favorite. According to our current knowledge, the ancestors of the Dachshund breed originated roughly in the Middle Ages. They were created and selected in Germany, in which According to current research, French hunting dogs also played a significant role. There are nine breed variants of Dachshunds, which means three fur and three size variants. The fur variants are smooth-haired, the wire-haired, and long-haired, and the size variations are the standard size, who are the largest, the miniature, and the rabbit, or caninchin size. Miniature and rabbit-sized ones are mainly used for hunting rabbits, the standard size is used not only for foxes and badgers, but also for wild boars. This tiny dog now tops popularity charts almost all over the world, being ranked the 6th in Europe and 9th in the United States according to surveys and statistics for 2023. Although Dachshunds have become known and popular worldwide since the Munich Olympics were held in 1972, they have had many fans throughout human history and culture. Pablo Picasso's paintings, for example, occasionally reveal the outline of his favorite Dachshund, lump just as Andy Warhol was inseparable from his smooth-haired pet Archie. Much to the chagrin of the French, Napoleon Bonaparte did not surround himself with poodles either. He was a real Dachshund fan, just as German Emperor Wilhelm II shared his retirement years with five Dachshunds after he lost the First World War and the fall of the Empire. The leaked draft law has, of course, caused outrage in Germany among breeders and Dachshund owners, who, along with other professional associations of dog breeders, are calling for the draft to be reviewed and possibly withdrawn. The petition, which has been public since March 21 this year, has since received more than 15,000 signatures and the number of signatories continues to grow. Some of the protesters have also suggested that increasingly extremist animal rights activists are lobbying lawmakers for regulations that would allow only dogs to be bred that look like wolves and only these are considered being normal by them. While animal protection is of course necessary, as in all areas, extremist views should be avoided, as centuries of positive breeding values and achievements can be pushed off the coastline by ill-conceived assumptions. Not to mention that in the dog world, unrealistic and extreme prohibitions usually lead to the strengthening of puppy mill activities,